Hi you guys, it's Ruby from Oofy Scraps and today we are starting a new project which is my 2023 project life album. So I know it's six months into 2023 and I'm just starting my yearly album but that is where we are. Um, if you followed me for the last like, year or two, you've seen that I typically do an annual album where I just make like a yearbook style album, just highlights from the year. I was doing 12 by 12 for a long time. I've done six by eight the last two years and I just scrapbook whatever stories from the year I want to, um, more in like a layout style typically, but it's just become a burden basically. I can't keep up with it because I take so many photos that like doing each story in its own layout just takes so much more time so I'm just trying the project life thing out and so far it's actually been good it's a little interesting to get used to but it's nice because I can tell so many stories in one page and I can include more small stories where I was at before trying not to do too many small stories because it was becoming too much work and this way I'm getting to include more of those so anyways here we are week one of 2023 I'm working on my little title card which is cute this is from in a creative bubble, I think it's a printable. Um, I think they're all either in a creative bubble or they're from Nellie and Clem. The two like New Year's theme ones are from last year's Nellie and Clem collection, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then photo wise, I have that photo to the right is of my dog Hazel. If you've been around for a while, you know Hazel, she's the best. She's super patient and lets me take all these cute, funny photos of her. So she's got her sparkly bandana on and she has a little star crown or no. She has a Happy New Year crown, and then it says 2023 is a little banner I made. Um, so that's fun. And the next to it says, let's have a sparkling new year, which is again from Nellie and Clem. Thought that was cute. Perfect for the beginning of the year. Um, so yeah, I'm just making this little embellishments onto this title card to spruce it up a little bit. Uh, and then the stamps I'm using, the week stamp is from Allie Edwards. It's like an old week in the life stamp set, I think. I got it on sale not that long ago. Um... And then the one, I spelt out one with those new Citrus Twist stamps that I just got in that recent haul. I can link that above for you guys if you wanted to see the name of that. I don't know it off the top of my head, but I love those stamps so far. I've used them a bunch. Um, and then when I ordered all my photos, which was a while ago, I've had these photos for a while, I just haven't started the project. Um, I ordered them all in 3x4 or 4x6, and I'm quickly realizing that it's like really boring to only work with those sizes in Project Life. So I cut that one photo down that's going to go on the bottom left, and I cut that down just smaller. I don't know what size exactly it was, but it just kind of creates more interest to the layout, breaks it up a little bit. So, And then I'm adhering both these two 3x4 cards together to the back of a 4x6 because it will go in that top right 4x6 pocket. Also realizing I take all my photos portrait, I need to take more landscape photos just to have diversity in this album. So those are some things I'm thinking about as I make the album and get more used to it. So this week it was New Year's, the holidays are over. I babysat, which is that photo to the left. I do work with kids a lot and I'm consci conscientious of trying not to show their faces because they're not my kids and they're minors, obviously. Um, so I do a lot of nannying for various different families and I also coach high school track so if you see like random sticky notes and washi tape on pages that's why it's people who I don't feel comfortable showing on camera so that's that little kid to the left with the washi tape on their face but it's one of my favorite kids to see and babysit I actually just got a text from their mom seeing if I was available this weekend so um they were just coming over to me they had gotten these little like broom and mop set for Christmas I think and the last time I was with them, they couldn't walk, and now they can, and it's just so cute. One of my favorite kids, for sure. So, and then to the right of that picture is this New Year Who Dis thing that's from Nellie and Clem also, and then the Hello Today is from Paper Person. No, not Paper Person. In a Creative Bubble. Sorry, my brain just shut off. And then the photo to the right of that is my brother. He was in town for the holidays. He's hanging out with Hazel. Hazel loves him. And then the bottom left photo is actually a photo of him again walking our two German Shepherds. We had this crazy idea that we were going to go take all the dogs for a walk. So we have two German Shepherds, a tiny little Yorkie Poo who's like 14 years old, and then Hazel. And we were like, let's take them all for a walk. And we quickly realized that the big dogs were like too insane to be on a walk. And like Moto didn't really want to walk. Moto's the little dog. 
So we quickly turned around. It also started raining. We turned around, went back, and we went just back out with just Hazel. Hazel's super easy on leash. So it was just kind of funny because I was driving D'Angelo insane. He was like, we can't do this. Let's turn around. This is awful. Um, so yeah, we did that, end up turning around. And then the bottom right is just a photo from my friend's house. We went over there and played a board game night with a couple of his friends. And I realized I'm really good at taboo. I'd never played it before, but I am like a taboo legend is what I've learned about myself. So if you ever want to play taboo, I'm your girl. You want me on your team, basically. Um, pretty much that's it for this first spread. I cut a lot out. I tried to cut out a lot of like the boring stuff. And I'm also getting used to working on a 12 by 12. I haven't done 12 by 12 in a while. And I end up with my filming setup, pulling it down and not and like pulling it off frame essentially. So I'm trying to practice keeping an eye on that. I think the last thing I'm doing here is just adding the dates. So it's like starts on January 1st and ends on January 7th, I think. Um, so yeah, and now we're working on week two, just like that. So these are all random cards. Some of them are from Integrated Bubble. Some of them are scrapbook paper, random stuff. Um, and then a lot of the papery little like ephemera stuff is all stuff I just got in that recent haul video that I shared again I have already linked it for you guys so if you want to see where specific stuff is from it's pretty much all from there again I'm doing the exact same thing but I'm doing week two and I'm doing on this little cute yellow card and then I'm going to add just a little bit of embellishment there this week was a super slow week photo wise so not very much happened but pictures that I do have to the right is a picture of Hazel we found this really scary like v-shaped cut on her and I was like oh my god is that a snake bite it literally looked like the like v of a snake's mouth kind of and I'm not like an overreactor typically I'm able to like keep calm read whatever and it had scabbed already so I was like you know if it is a snake bite that was bad she would have been reacting already and it was already scabbed over so I was thinking it probably wasn't anything but we also hadn't taken her to a vet in a while so we like we could just go Snake bite is one of those things where like you don't want to mess around. We do have tons of rattlesnakes in Southern California. So we ended up taking her in and it turned out it was nothing, which is great. Uh, but we should, she just had her normal checkup and everything and she's fine otherwise. So that was good. A little scary, but it was good. And the other photo bottom right is just a selfie I took for Thursday 3 on Instagram. Just a cute, fun selfie I wanted to include. And the bottom left is more dogs. That's kind of my filler. Like if I have nothing to share... I have pictures of Hazel always. And so that's Hazel with my brother's dog, who's like Hazel's cousin, Louie. And she's like a German Shepherd puppy who's full of energy and spunky and a little insane, but fun to see her. And it's good for her to hang out with Hazel because Hazel's super chill. So they get along, you know, Louie gets a little annoying at times, but she means well, she's just excited. So this one came together really quickly as well. And I think that's pretty much it. I made it a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, a little bit more embellishments with these stickers um, I'm gonna add the dates I think onto this little ed label sticker that is from the color story what is that called it's I can't think of the name why can't I think of the name it's a really fun collection that I cannot think of the name right now um, but anyways there it is so oh color fresh Heidi swap color fresh collection there you go so now I'm just sticking all the cards back into the page protectors, their little pockets, and this one card I had nothing on. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about this. I end up stamping a bunch. This card is super cute. The colors are fun, but I had nothing to add to it. I didn't want to add more journaling, so I end up just putting a bunch of stamps on it. So I pulled out this fun little stamp set and just used a bunch of different icons from there to pizzazz it up a little bit, just so it didn't feel like plain and boring, like I just stuck it in there and forgot about it. And I'm also adding a couple of black and white floral stickers from that same sticker book just to you know zhuzh it up a little so that is pretty much it for week two if i remember correctly and we'll move right on to week three so in contrast week three i had a ton of photos because it was my birthday week and i also just did other stuff throughout the weekend um i was trying to pare it down and get rid of some photos i think i did get rid of some but i still had a ton so i got these six by twelve page protectors from scrapbook.com and I thought this was a perfect opportunity to use them as like a mini insert in addition to the normal 12 by 12s. So I'm making my little same old, same old week title card again using the same exact 
system. I don't know that I'll do this all year, but right now I like the way it looks, so I'll just keep doing it for now. I have to use a bunch of letter stickers. It's easy. So week three, I'm just adding a couple of stickers and things to zhuzh it up again. And this first page is very like green and blue and outdoorsy. So the top two photos are of kids I was nannying. And then the bottom photos are of a walk hike, trail hike walk thing that I did with Steven. So I found this trail. Well, I've always known this trail was here, but I've never actually gone the whole way before. And I ran it and it was so pretty and it's been, it had been raining a ton in the beginning of the year. So it was super green and I've been running it, but I wanted to show Steven and Steven cannot run that far. He's not super into running anymore. So I was like, let's just take Hazel on a walk. So we walked the canyon. It took a while. It was definitely longer than Steven was hoping it was going to be, but it was really pretty and fun. And the canyon is just really a beautiful place. So it's fun to get in there and do that. And then I'm just adhering all these little photos down. I keep this again pretty minimal. There's a lot of photos and it's very pattern heavy. So I didn't want it to be too visually overwhelming. So I'm just adding a little, um, what's it called? A little washi tape and small embellishing on these two smaller cards. And they are half of a three by four. They're a 1.5 by three. Does that make sense? I don't know, but they're smaller than a 3x4, and I just like the way that they are still the same idea as a 3x4 photo, but they have a little more pattern paper involved. It just breaks up again, all the pictures being the same size. So that's a cute little photo of me giving him a piggyback ride, and I just add a little bit of washi, a little phrase stamp or sticker, just to kind of give it a little something. And then to the right, that 3x4 card, I put, this is the good life I think it says I just stuck that down basically to fill up some space and also I've been adding a little bit of a pink pop because that title card does have like a peachy pink situation in it and then I added some pink washi tape so I wanted to make the pink feel like it was cohesive throughout the whole page um, I don't know if I end up adding journaling on that card or not or just leaving it plain but it's cute because it's like a sky print and it's like the canyon so I thought it was very appropriate for what we were doing here Oh, and then the last thing I do is I stick these two little photos down. Again, they're smaller than a 3x4. A photo of me and then a photo of Hazel. And I add like three little mini phrase stickers on each page. So like cute little phrases. Let's see what they say. I think I have, I have it right here. Um, the picture of me, it says, lovely life, perfect day, magical. And the other one over Hazel says, you shine, so sweet, love you. And... Then to the right, I just add a cute little tag to that one photo there, just to add a little something there. So I kept it really simple, but I think that it turned out really cute. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this little mini spread, which is the start of week three. And then we will move on to the back side of this page protector, which will be week three continued. So I did end up doing a full 12 by 12 sheet, like Project Life pocket page for this week as well as these two little ones because it is my birthday week and there was just a lot going on. So this side is all about going to Supercross. Um, my whole family is really in dirt biking. I grew up dirt biking and each year Supercross comes to San Diego. So I usually go with my family or whatever and this year it was at a new location in San Diego. It was at a new like event arena that we had never been to before so it was exciting to get to go to that. Beforehand, we went to this really fun, fancy sushi restaurant that my brother was like friends with the people who owned it or something. He's a chef, so he like knows all of these different restaurant places to go. So it was a very fancy sushi place. And you can see that picture there that I'm working on has like this just giant board of sushi, which was super good. So I went with two of my brothers, my parents, um, Steven obviously was there. And then one of my brother's girlfriends also came. And then we just went to the event. So that bottom left picture is like the very quintessential Supercross big gas boom explosion thing that's just very, you know, very dirt bikey. <laughs> um, and then the other photo is a selfie of Steven and I where we were sitting. Um, this place that this uh, event was taking place also is my friend coincidentally is the manager of this stadium like one of the managers for the events at the stadium which was cool so we got to see her she showed us around a little bit and you know it was fun 
Supercross is just always a thing. Um, I added a little bit of journaling, just handwritten onto that card there to the right. Just talking about the restaurant in general, the meal, I had never been there before, I had never eaten there before, and it was definitely a little expensive, but very, you know, bougie sushi experience. And then the photo above, I thought I was gonna add some journaling there potentially, but I didn't really have anything else to say, so I just used a couple stamps from this like food related stamp set and then I filled up that gap there so here for the food I put a little heart and then a little plate with fork stamps so like love eating and then I end up putting a little washi tape below that I think and I also add a little sticker to that tab punch that I added onto the photo that says oh happy day because there's nothing like a big plate of sushi that just is so good I love sushi so super fun with that and that's pretty much it for this little layout um i might add some journaling to the bottom of that little oh yeah card i just am sticking in now at this point i don't have anything but it's something i might do in the future i'm just going to go ahead and stick everything in the pockets and we will move on to part three of week three so the final full 12 by 12 pocket layout is of my actual birthday so january 16th is my birthday and if you saw my Joshua Tree mini trip album, this is a little bit redundant, so I will link that up in the cards for you guys if you haven't seen it. Um, but basically, my birthday falls on Martin Luther King weekend every weekend. We were supposed to go camping, but we got rained out. So I ended up having like a little chill birthday game night at my house the night before my birthday. And then the next day, a bunch of my girlfriends came over and we just had another like hangout. So the bottom left four by six is empty because I don't have that photo printed. I forgot to order it. So it's something I will stick in, but that's going to just be a photo from the day when my actual, like all my girlfriends came over, but the photo to the right is of a couple of my guy friends and Steven from our little game night. So I'm just setting up this super cute little title card, even though it's not like my week title card, it's just like the birthday title card. So I printed the 25 right on to that piece of paper I punched out of a circle and then I put that cute little star down a tag creating just like a fun cluster of embellishments I'm going to put my birthday stamped on there with my roller date stamp and then I will also stamp b-day onto the star so it's like 25 b-day and then this is the date so it turns out really cute I added that washi tape that's from Hobby Lobby I love the little smiley face washi I think it's so cute it's a great color it's all the good things. And then I will just continue like building up fun stuff on there. So I stuck B-Day down and I put some ribbon through the tag and I add a couple other things to that little area a little later. And then this photo I'm working on now is a picture of my birthday cake, which was so cute. And I was just trying to decide which vellum frame or plastic frame I wanted to put around it. But now I'm back up onto this title card and I cut a little heart out of this star transparency I had like a really tiny piece of scrap of this transparency that I really love and I was saving it but I didn't really know what to use it for and I thought this was a perfect time this other one this little card says just the best and I am putting a little orange flower washi tape and a little sticker that is from the Allie Edwards Weekend of Life collection from last year which is a random puffy sticker I had left over and it was the right color so I just stuck it down Sticking some things back into the page protector and now deciding I'm going to use this cute blue and white um, like grid plastic frame to put around. I just wanted to break up all the 4x6s because there were so many and I love my plastic frames. These ones are I bought in that scrapbook.com haul but I've also had a bunch from Allie Edwards that are really cute. I think they're just a fun easy thing to add. Now I'm going back up to the good old embellishment cluster situation happening on the title card and I'm just adding a little floral sticker to kind of fill out that one area that felt like it had a gap and then I randomly add this ladybug sticker which is super cute and it brings in that like reddish pink color but I don't know what a ladybug has to do with my January birthday so there's that 
Now I'm going to create a little embellishment cluster onto this photo of us. If you look closely, you'll see like Steven is showing Hazel his cards. I was taking this photo because I wanted to like have something for my scrapbook, of course. And so I told everyone to act natural. So they're all like pretending to really intently look at their cards, which is hilarious. And Steven is showing his cards to Hazel. So I'm creating this little embellishment cluster. I put a little like piece of washi tape down to just anchor everything. And then I cut out of some pattern paper, this little like pennant flag thingy um, that I just stapled right on. And then I'll add a few stickers to really just kind of zhuzh it up, give it a little something. I like when I have a photo to ha when there's space for it to add a little something extra so it doesn't just look like everything's just stuck in there. So yeah. There's that, and then I'm just gonna keep moving right along. I don't do too much else on this page. I add a couple of stickers. That happy birthday card is just straight out of a cut apart. And then the bottom right is a pink piece of paper, and I literally just put type journaling. I printed right onto it. So just like that, we're moving on to week four. Week four comes together really quickly, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this pink and orange color scheme. So a lot of these papers are from the new paper pad I just got, what is it called? Like Flower Child, I think, my new favorite paper pad. So I'm just doing the same old, same old week four, stamping that out onto my title card. And I just add a fun bunch of orange and pink embellishments from my recent scrapbook.com haul that I did. Just adding all kinds of little pieces to that and just getting into it. So this is probably my favorite Project Life spread I've done so far. I've done like a few more that I haven't recorded yet, like or voiceovered yet. Um, I just really like the elements I use. The color scheme is fabulous, obviously very strong, and I just think it's a cute, really typical week. Obviously, the last one I just did was my birthday, which is super special, and I love that one. But in terms of like a typical every week, normal week style, this is like my goal. So I'm using some cute ombre stickers from Citrus Twist that are perfect because they're pink and yellowy orange, spelling out Hazel. So this little four by six to the right, I just have three photos of Hazel from throughout the week. I have a zillion photos of her. She's so cute. I'm constantly taking pictures of her and her birthday week is coming up in the next couple of spreads here. Um, you'll see that in another video and the entire week is just photos of Hazel. So, you know, we'll get used to seeing her a ton. And then the next photo to the left is Hazel in the rain. She hates the rain. So I end up doing a little journaling about that. And then this is my cute little pink Valentine's Day nails I did on myself. It's like a matte pink with a little white heart on my ring finger. And to the right of that, I have a cute little photo in black and white. So one of my hurdlers on the track team that I coach also plays basketball. And so I went to watch her senior night basketball game. And the gym was like blue and green and kind of insane and crazy. So I ended up just putting it black and white. I thought that worked better. And it per worked perfectly for my color scheme of this layout too. So I'm glad I did that. And then I'm just sticking that one four by six card here into the pocket. I love the way I use different size photos here. So I, tr I struggle with the four by sixes. I typically take photos, portrait, not landscape. So having those smaller size photos really creates a dynamic element. And then this little photo here of my nails, I cut down to fit inside this little frame that was from one of the ephemera packs I bought recently. And I love the way that looks too. It just gives a little bit of a dynamic situation to the spread that's otherwise very four by six, three by four heavy. So I think that worked out really cute. So I'm just adding a couple little things there and then I write a really teeny bit of journaling about my little Valentine's Day manicure. And that is pretty much it for that little card. To the right, I did staple on this little da bomb thing. It's from Allie Edwards. It's just a vellum word. I liked it mostly to incorporate the pink back into that part of it. And then I went and did a little bit of journaling on that card. Just said Hazel absolutely hates the rain, even with her rain jacket on. So she hates the rain. She won't go pee in the rain. I have to put a rain jacket on her and she still sometimes won't go. So... I will walk out with an umbrella covering her. Like if she gets any drops on her, it's game over. So there's that. And then to the left, I have a photo of a little girl I was nannying and her little dog. She was just making cute faces. And the photo to the right of that is another little selfie with us. 
and I added a cute little pink card to the right of that with some journaling. Right here I just stuck a little label sticker right on there talking about senior night. And then I went ahead and added this cute little vellum Ugg, which I thought was perfect because that's totally how Hazel was feeling. And then on the bottom right card, I also went ahead and added this little like flower orange circle cutout thing and I stamped onto that, added some journaling and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.